Welcome everybody. Good morning or good afternoon or for me it's morning. In fact, I need a little drink. Hold on a second. Inspired. Yes, I don't have a voice yet, do I? Let me turn it. I think this might be a better view for you. I'm not sure. Hoping. It's always been my problem. It's so hard to know whether I'm in focus or not. I saw this picture. Crestview Collection. It's country scene, wall art. Um, copy, I don't know what all that is. But anyway, it was just, in fact, it, as you can see, it's like from a magazine paper. Cut it out. And I thought, wouldn't that be cute? to be kind of a cute little watercolor inside of a frame and, and I'll show you what we're going to do to make it a frame and correct the non-perfect square I've got going on here as I'm looking at it but we'll fix all that right now we'll just be concerned with this square here in the center so I thought I'd give a few tips on watercolor and Having a p good palette that'll open for you when you ask is always important. As you see me struggling. <laughs> okay, so you want to have that. I got all my colors and everything. I start out, I'm going to give everything a good squirt water. You want to have a bowl of water as well. You also want to have a good size watercolor brush. Um, they are kind of around and then they come to a point and they're small to to the very 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 large one which is over there and then there's a medium over there but for this little guy I'm wishing I had a little bit smaller so I may switch brushes into maybe something somewhat similar but in small um, it's been too long this is Germany made I just heard something crash. Let me see what it is. Okay, all is well. My animals were just playing around, I guess. Kit Kat and uh, Bella were chasing each other. All right, what we're first going to do is I'm going to start on the sky. And, you know, actually, what the first thing I'm going to do is lighten up my pencil mark. I, I definitely... Uh, pushed too hard when I was sketching. I don't know. Sometimes I do that. But a good old pencil can come in and get rid of that. And we're going to be highlighting a little bit inside the frame anyway. Because we want to create that depth. Okay, so. Boom, boom, boom. And I want to think a minute too. I forgot about um, bringing in our masking fluid. Whenever you're doing a watercolor, you want to block out places that you want to, 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 to remain white. Okay, that just that makes any sense at all. But yes, there are some places that I would like that. So I'm going to grab a brush that can apply it well, hopefully. Let's see here this one. Oh, I really don't want to get that in the frisk in that one. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, that's not right either. Oh, good morning, y'all. Uh-huh, my brain apparently is not a bit functioning. I wanted to come in with some of the cloud area above the tree so that it never got so it never gets um, a bunch of paint. So it's going to be one of the clouds. For sure. white and 
light. Okay. And when I was looking up here on the roof of the picture, there were places that would be nice if I could continue to keep it white. there I thought about that and maybe think about maybe <laughs> what could I maybe do guys right there on that window something like that I don't know and definitely these windows. And then the shadow goes down that away. And then enters our yellows and prettiness. Which I'm gonna let like it be. And one across there. Yes. And over here too. Okay. I can breathe a little bit. I literally find myself sometimes concentrating so hard that I don't breathe. Anybody else do that? Well, I enjoy your comments, by the way. Keep them coming. All right, I think I'm good with the frisket paper now. And not frisket paper. Oh my goodness. See, I'm not awake. So sorry. This is not frisket paper. This is the masking uh, fluid for watercolors. And it's liquid. Completely different product. There it is. Hopefully that's showing it. Okay. Yeah, isn't that silly? Oh my brain. I need more to drink here. And, and also, we're letting that dry. Get another one. I hate the mornings. Anybody else? If I have to get up early. I hate it. I know your business, what I'm doing. We're letting the paint dry. <laughs> if my husband was here, he'd be making us coffee. But since he's not, I'm doing a Coke. I know. Terrible for you. I know. So good, though. I don't feel like messing and making a big pot of coffee if it's just me. When you're doing the masking fluid, make sure it's an old brush, because it is rough on the brushes, I will say. I need to think of a different way of applying, but when it's this small, 
it's kind of hard. I'm going to use the blow dryer to speed up our masking fluid adhesion. Now, what is not customary, but it doesn't matter to, in art what you use, as long as you use something. I love the 4-inch liner by Princeton. Look how nice and long and straight that is. I love it. So I'm going to probably be doing most of the painting in this color. So just thought I'd tell you that. And I'm going to come in with water. And we are going to whoops, knock over stuff. Um, trying to free a hand there. Come in with water right here on this corner. Yeah, I do go ahead and go over the frisket. Because once it's dried, it's there. Good in there, which is really great. So we're wetting the paper. Oh, the paper is 140 pound cold press paper. I don't recommend anything else but that. Those silly little watercolor sketch pads, whatever. Some people may love them, and I think they would be good for, like, maybe alcohol ink. But for watercolor, go with the cold press, okay? Just a little helpful suggestion from your good old art friend, teacher, me. <laughs> all right, well, this is all the places where I wanted to drop some blue, so I'm hoping stop any moment, okay? I think everything is wet enough. Whoops, see, I flipped a little wetness there. Okay. Now, the sky is beautiful. I'm going to actually stop a minute and get a different palette. Alright. We dropped some color in here. I wet it all down. I didn't realize we were on off again. See? This damn camera just loves to mess with me. Um, anyway, back to trying to get a nice uh, green. Or one at least I like. Mixing colors here. I'm gonna just dot in some this other color. There we go. And the last was this yellow, which I thought was so pretty. them. All right, all oh, we're going to do there. All right, I'm going to wet this area right here. It's just right over top the roof. And this is trees. Foliage. I'm just going to do one at a time because I'm not sure at all how to do one. Let me get a good view here. There, I have the picture in front of me, so I'm following the picture. Yeah, 
yeah, I just brought the paint right on over. Just rolling with it. Pretty much thought. You're going, I know, we notice. doing good so far. I'm going to come in and do the dark blacks areas of the painting. And something fun happened. I love that. It gives a nice shadow. Did too. Yay. And if you found you've dropped too much paint, all you do is do what I'm doing. Dry your brush and come in. Now I want that shadow though, but it's more of an angle. So I'm trying to get the paint to, to do as I want. Not, there you go. I don't know, that's the best I can do there. If I start fussing over it, it'll never work. All right, we're gonna have some turquoise blue and white. With a little bit of black, Mars black or gray. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's so fun to do the shadows. And the doors. 
and all of a sudden the 3D effect starts popping up, you know, and you're like, yeah! I don't usually paint just straight, <coughs> excuse me, straight black, but this time I am. Excuse me. And that is so small that if I tried to wet it first, it would run all over the place. So that's why you see me not doing it. Oops, I went out of the line. I did an oopsie. bit of smearing there happening. That means you're working too close to the other side. So let's see if I can just add a little bit of water here and not touch the black. I think we succeeded at that.
there. I believe that's beginning to look really well. I sure hope I was in painting view. And um, isn't it getting pretty? I'm going to turn it this way, wondering if that's a better view. Up, down, side, up. Pretty. <laughs> That's all I can say is it's pretty. All right, I'm going to put my signature on it, and we're going to, I might mess around with maybe the frame around it kind of thing, but that's going to be it. That's it, man. Let's come in with some, a really soft green, maybe, for my signature. What do you think? Oh, I was going to keep doing it in pen. Yeah, I am. I'm going to continue with that because it really worked out pretty last time. Without the, you know, the smear of the uh, canvas. And I'll probably go ahead and just use the marker to outline our frame. It's beautiful, fine marker. And it's by Artistro. Artistro. I'm not sure which way it's readable. Artistro. Or this way, Artistro Paint Marker Pen.
Okay, here we are. We're all done. Now, what do you think, guys? Pretty watercolor. I think it turned out really pretty. I may add a little bit more yellow through here to indicate flowers, but it's wet right now. But pretty much done. No more fussing. If I fuss too much, it's ruined. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll just do splatterings. Indication of flowers. Alright, well thank you for joining me. If you're not a subscriber of my wackadoodle channel, uh, please think about doing so just for the fun of it, if nothing else. I do teach you something, but sometimes my camera's not right, and here I am showing you, thinking I'm showing you, and it's not recording properly. And I bet you you go, you know what, you're not worthy of my subscription, and I'm not. I am trying every day to improve and get better. Um, anyway, leave me some comments, a thumbs up if you like it, if you like more of the teaching style. Okay, have a beautiful day now.